my friends, and the vegan with the tomato soup. Yeah, that is something in summer I really am fond of. Tomatoes are very unique. I always say that you cannot replace tomatoes with anything else in the kitchen. Tomatoes are unreplaceable and they are wonderful. Here, these are tomatoes I will make a juice of. Yeah, I have different kinds of tomatoes and they are also tasty in this time of the year. Not always so easy to get a delicious tomato, um, but I will tell you more about that a little bit later. These are pretty nice tomatoes. They are tasty and they are juicy. That's important because I'm going to make a juice. The juice will be the base, so to say, uh, for the soup. So now I will quickly juice here four or five tomatoes. You see, maybe two and a half cups or so a bunch. In a moment, I'll be back. This is my tomato juice, and it's just a very simple tomato juice. Not something I would offer somebody to drink, although I could have it tasted. It's a refreshing tomato juice, not very savory, not super tomatoey. They are not the best tomatoes in the world, you know, but they are nice. It's okay, you could drink it. But it's not necessarily something I would uh, offer as a gourmet recipe or so. It's just a, a background, the, 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 yeah, the base for the soup. Yeah, just you can take any tomato juice. If you buy tomato juice uh, in a store, that would work too. The thing is just. When I make a tomato soup, yeah, which is creamy and um, delicious, yeah, with tomato flavor and everything, and then I have to one thing in, in, in my on my mind at first that is the texture of the soup, because what happens easily when just blending tomatoes in a blender, for example, then what happens with the soup it can part, um, it can separate the liquid parts and the firm parts of the tomato, they can separate. And that's why many people put a, um, uh, some cashews in or some olive oil, or they put also um, maybe um, avocado in the soup to make it creamy. And oftentimes we see them, uh, these creamy tomato soups. This is one way to make it bind, yeah? to, to make the soup, the texture of the soup really a uh, soup. Yeah? But the other way, well, that's, so that's the problem with tomatoes. And there, when you make soups, um, there are so many different, um, uh, yeah, interesting questions. Uh, for the, the tomato soup, the first thing is the tomato flavor, and the second is the texture of the soup as it separates. So that's this have I, I have that have I had that in mind on my mind when I do this tomato um, juice because I could uh, when I just blend, for example, tomatoes here. I have fresh tomatoes here and dried tomatoes. This is um, what I, uh, what my first idea was when I had to make the tomato soup. I just um, blend some tomatoes with dry tomatoes to make it a little bit creamier. Yeah. Um, I have here four or five delicious smaller tomatoes, and here you see um, this is a certain variety of dry tomatoes. They are raw. Yeah, this is a wonderful. I bought them. They are really delicious. That is a, <clears throat> a company in southern Germany or northern Austria. I don't know. They make the most wonderful raw food. Different kinds of, of uh, tomatoes, for example, they have. That is very nice. And I like them a lot. They have a nice flavor. And um, these dry tomatoes, they are soft and they all are seasoned a little bit. I don't know which kind of seasons are there. There might even be a little bit of olive oil in so, uh, we, you might have some simple dry tomatoes without anything. That's okay, yeah. But for this, for that case, in that case, when you have these um, simple tomatoes, you could also use a little bit of um, you know, lemon. I know um, apple cider vinegar. You see, and date. Wait a second. Wait a second. I put it in a moment. In a moment. Okay. So I'm back now. I had to fix something here because I knew when I put some uh, apple cider vinegar here in the, in the tomato soup to make it a little bit sour, so to highlight the flavor of the tomatoes. Yeah. In case you don't have these super delicious tomatoes, it's always nice to put some apple cider vinegar in, but you also have to put, or I would like to put some dates in there to balance this sour flavor. The sweet and sour is a nice way, here there are five small dates, they are pitted, you can take 
Uh, not too many, maybe, but a little bit of sweetness is very good. Uh, that is something um, with always when you have um, cooking um, fruit and vegetables, they always should be ripe. Uh, usually, not always, but most of the time we prefer the ripe fruit uh, and vegetables. And when they ripen, um, the sugar, yeah, the glucose, uh, builds from the starches in the vegetables and the fruit. Bananas are always the same. The glucose builds from the starch. That is ripening, part of the ripening process. Very important because when we have um, the glucose in the fruit, we can digest it completely easy. And most of the time, um, the more nutrients are in the fruit or the veggie than before ripening. Not always. There are always exceptions and always pro and cons for everything. So it can also be that a fruit that is less ripe has some health benefits. Especially, for example, if you think about bananas, um, we always say, oh, they have to be brown, the bananas. But actually, also the green bananas can have some benefits. But that's another subject. I'm just saying here, to underline the sweetness, the ripeness of the tomato, and to highlight a little bit the flavors, um, sugar, uh, sour and sweet helps. That's why I put in a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar that is fitting to tomato. Uh, to my estimation, more than lemon. Yeah, you, also, you can also take lemon, but to me, tomato fits a little bit better with apple cider vinegar, whatever you have at hand. Yeah, sour and sweet. This is the thing. So here, apple cider vinegar and, and, and um, dates, and now the seasoning, the additional flavor, so to say, uh, that is um, here pepper and salt. This is a classic for tomato soup, and I would like today to put um, a whole chili pepper in to make it hot. Summer is, I love in the summertime, the chili pepper. And a little bit of ginger, you see? I have a nice piece of ginger here, a chili pepper and pepper and salt. So um, pepper and salt is more to, yeah, a little bit um, classic for tomato, and chili pepper and ginger is really adding fire to it, I guess. Um, I don't need to explain why to me tomato and fire are so close. <laughs> yeah, so uh, another thing is with the chili pepper, you can also seed it. Yeah? You can take out the seeds inside the pepper because they make it really hot. If you want to have it a little bit less hot, take the seeds out, no problem. So a little bit of salt and pepper, just to your liking. Um, ginger, a good piece, and the chili pepper. And now the juice. Yeah? You see half a liter or so with four or five tomatoes. Not too many um, dry tomatoes, um, just three or four small pieces, and the seasoning. Let's see what happens now. Blend your hands. soup will taste like. The texture is okay. Yeah, it looks good. Now I check the flavor. Yeah, it's a pretty creamy soup. I would say that is okay. That goes for a soup. Mm. <clears throat> it's a fruity, tomatoey flavor. Wonderful. I'll show you what it looks like. I will pour it into a glass to serve it, here, it's a nice glass, <laughs> and that's all I guess I need today for my dinner, isn't that beautiful? So your texture you can adjust by just putting less or more dry tomatoes in there, yeah, because the more dry tomatoes of course you have a thicker soup, the thicker the soup, and the less dry tomatoes should have a uh, lighter soup, but um, that's up to you. I would not put water in there. I, I noticed before 
You see, this soup keeps together, yeah? It doesn't separate. But if I put water in there, what I noticed, it separates, begins to separate. And that is not, a, not the very best, the very worst thing that can happen. If the soup perhaps separates, you can always drink it, enjoy it, not a big problem. But it's really nice if it doesn't separate, of course. And water would not work here. And um, if you use water, you can also use then maybe olive oil additionally, or uh, some nuts or seeds or so avocados to make it bind, to, to stick together, to keep it from separating. But just like that, without anything, just tomato juice, the tomatoes, and the seasoning. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you like, give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe and leave me on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.